Okay, I wanted to show you guys, I've been doing a, a little, uh, some short lessons with this progression, A minor, G, F. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things. I wanted to show you some licks you can use over that, but also maybe give you some tools to use over that kind of progression. It's so obviously a, a, a minor, A minor, and then the sound of a G and an F. Could be many different keys, could be B minor, different sound. The reason I'm showing you this one is because it's got a lot of open strings. And so you have a lot of places you can go without getting too technical. You can do... It's pretty cool, right? Almost has a little bit of Lindsey Buckingham. And I just, I love this progression because um, besides the fact that it's iconic, you know, Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan wrote it and Hendrix made it uh, his own with, with his version. Um, you know, that whole thing he did, you know. I just love, I love the whole thing he did with that with a slide and the wah. But that being said, we're on acoustic today and I'm sitting in my yard on Maui. Um, and I just, it just occurred to me that probably you would enjoy having some a few different licks you can use and also maybe some alternate chords you can use that um, I, I call it the special sauce. It, it kind of, uh, you know, makes makes a, a return, like for instance, A minor, G, F is great. But if, if, if as an alternate to that, you could do A minor and this version of G, which is, you got your third finger on the third fret of the B string, and then you got your high G, third fret E string with, with your pinky. Most of you may know this chord already, but what I like about it in this case is you can use that as an alternate chord. So the first one could go, and the second one could be something like, hear that voicing? slightly different and I like it because it it changes it up a little and the other thing I want to show you um, as an alternate to the uh, F chord which is great you know it's fine you might do it that way but if you can do it this way with your thumb that's cool if you can't it's okay to do it this way just using your third second first finger it's basically we call that a partial okay and if you do, and you can open up that E string, kind of a nice sound. It's an F major seventh chord. And now if you can do it with your thumb over, it sounds full like that. Very Tom Petty, right? Heart, you know. And all that. But the reason I think it works in general with this progression is because, again, it alternates the voicing. So if you're, you know, I'll put it in, in context here in a sec. So whether you're doing it this way, or this way, um, it's gonna work. Uh, it's a little more full this way, but if you have trouble making that thumb over, that's okay. So I'm gonna do it both ways right now, and you'll see what I mean in terms of the voicing. I'm gonna change the voicing in between. That's my horse back there. I'm gonna change the voicing in between, so watch this. finalized it so even if you did, if you did it four times you know it would be like the feeling of a verse I suppose and doing that that way with the different voicings you're gonna get uh, a slightly different feel a different sound there's your regular now I'm gonna do it with that different G and then I'm gonna repeat the first one and then I'm gonna cap it off with that F major seventh, check it out. See how it leaves it kind of hanging there? Lay back down. Yeah. And so I borrowed that from Tom Petty. So you got Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan, and Tom Petty all in the same lesson there. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was, and I, I did do some real quick short lessons around this, but I, I have a couple of licks I'll share with you right now that you can apply to this A minor G, F, Hendrix, Dylan uh, progression. And you can add that as, as what I call connective tissue between the chords, okay? So I just showed you some voicings, but now 
I'm going to show you slowly some licks. That one always works. So you got a low, op, low open E, third fret, third finger, open A, third fret A string, third finger. So pretty simple. And then land on that A minor chord. There's one that works for you. Slow motion. Got it? Okay. And then here's a, 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 this one I have, I have shown in, a, in another lesson, uh, the short lesson, but it's a... So you got first finger on the B string, first fret, open B, second finger, second fret G, and then open and land on that A minor. Slow motion. Okay, so now you got two licks you can use. That, that I've shown you. And the third one is this. A little more complicated and a little more movement going, but if you can grok it, it's cool. So you're sliding up to the fifth fret on the B string with your third finger, sliding up, and then third fret on the E string with your first finger, and then pull off with the third finger on the B string from the fifth to the third fret. It's like a slide off, pull off, whatever you want to call it. It's really sliding because a pull off would be. So technically, this is a slide because <laughs> you're hitting once and then sliding, right? So, and then first finger on the um, C note of the B string, first fret, and open that B and then land on the A minor. So, slow motion. And then land on it. Okay? So now you got you got a series of three licks that work over these changes, this, this Hendrix. And rhythmically you could do it any which way, but you could do it. That's the, that's the Hendrix thing. And Dylan. You did a little different. So now you got you got the voicings. There's your first word voicing, then your second one. Sorry. Again, back to the first one, usually I like to repeat. And then I go to that F major seventh after, which kind of resolves that you've done four, you know, times around. So uh, totally up to you. But I wanted you to have at least some tools around that A minor G F, and it could be, like I said, it could be any key, but it's going to work really well in this particular key because you got so many open strings. That's that's what I love about it. You know, you can do eventually, uh, if you want to go to a, a long, longer course or lesson, just go to jimmydillon.com and uh, and hit that. And uh, it'll sign me up, you know, put your email in there and I'll send you stuff for free. You know, you'll get some great shit. So that'll be fun. And um, yeah, it's good to, to be here. I'm sitting out on my yard right now. And I thought, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to share some more little uh, nuggets that that work in that progression because man you hear it in so many different songs i can think of lots of them right off the top of my head like i mentioned tom petty and you know so many people use that and it's a great progression you know it's just uh, you can use it half time but if you want to really get like resolvey hit an a an e major sometimes that happens too there's a million different things, different ways you could do it. And I just wanted to share with you a couple of ideas that I had this morning about, you know, how do you play over those changes? So if you got another guitar player playing, you know, giving you a little rhythm, a little foundation, and then you could do your, and just know that that also works as an intro, right? walk-ins we call them you know that you can do on a verse or a chorus or whatever so i hope you enjoyed that that's uh you know the Jimi hendrix all on the watchtower bob dylan with a little tom petty thrown in for good measure and we'll see you down the road